Ooh. Are we just starting? Or is this an intro? Or is it both? I think it's both. What's up, everybody? My name is Coalfire, and welcome to Incredible Mandy. Looks like a uh, third-person action platformer? Not entirely sure, but I saw it pop up on Itch.io, I think? I was looking around on Itch.io and Game Jolt a lot today for some to find, so I can't quite remember, but... Uh, yeah, thought it looked cool. Thought I'd play it. <laughs> As with most of the games on the channel. What are you? Um. Whoa, okay, we just pulled a sort of light out of thin air. So X is attack and Y is leave it in place. Is the oh B to interact. How, how, how do? Oh, is this, a, it's a chest. Okay. Whoa, holy shit. So, little girl lost her arm? Android doctors. Okay, so yeah, our, our right arm is robotic. Okay. Jesus, this place is huge. Oh, nice, and these even have, like, a little bit of physics on them. All right. LP to crouch. <laughs> Look at me. Just do a little walkie-walk. Perfect. Oh, come here, platform. Yes! Success. Oh, are there... Oh, there's no momentum in it. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. I just had to check. Okay, press LB, then A to roll. Okay, so we have like that that's kind of a, a strange dodge mechanic, but what is the like the energy bar that we have up? Oh god, okay. Yep, that's a good way to teach us we can climb. Okay, and up and up. Oh Jesus girl, you can jump. Alright, can I move left and okay, yeah. Just not Oh, it's relative to camera. Okay. I got you. So if I want to go up, I actually have to like see that that animation has played a little bit. So we can go left, and now we can jump off. Press X to generate a sword. Okay, so that's what uses a little bit of our energy. Uh, was there any reason we needed to generate a sword? Oh, cool, and it even stays on our back! <laughs> that's really cool! Yeah, look at us go! It would be nice if there was some, uh, you know, music or something. Get close to the butterfly spring to replenish your MP. Oh. Is X to attack? Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, do we have lock on? Okay. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Are you going to die or not? Wow. That's a lot of health for the first enemy. I suppose that's all right, though. Uh, what's going on here? Hello? A big fan could be rotated when it power off. Interact? Okay, so... We can make it do the turnies when it not blow. Okay, B is interact. B. does an eighth of a turn. Okay, so it's blowing out there, right? Is that is that the right way to look at this? Ah, there we go. And then what? We can just like <gasps> jump. Yeah, okay. When you've got a sword in hand, hold X to bomb it. Okay. Okay, so is that just for breaking barriers? I don't know. When you have a sword in hand, press Y to stick the sword. Yeah, we did that earlier, but what uh, what good is that, is what I'm wondering. Use a sword attack to detonate swords on the ground. Line means swords can be detonated 
continually. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. All right. Hold RB to sprint through the wind. So sprint doesn't use any kind of resource from us. Why wouldn't I just, yeah, do the roll? That's a hell of a lot easier to do. And then, what, we gotta turn this guy around again? Nope. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, good. And we can turn you all the way around. Okay, good, we got it. No hernia is here today. Yeah. <gasps> we <laughs> okay. It uh the platforming reminds me a bit of like what I've seen of Breath of the Wild. I haven't actually played it myself, but it's just what it reminds me of. Okay, so is there nothing I can do up here? I have a feeling, yeah, this is gonna attract you. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. It's a... Uh, the combat system doesn't feel very fluid, but having these things to put down... Uh, oh, no, we need to attack one of them. There it is. Gotcha. Yeah, the combat system doesn't feel very fluid at all, but it, it has some interesting concepts, and I like that. Okay, so... No button to interact with this one, it just auto-interacts. Coolio. Uh, can we make that second jump? I'm assuming so. <gasps> there we go. Atta girl. Come on, Mandy. You got this. Okay, uh, Big Sir... This big white robot only stops on the light pillar. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Bomb a sword to guide big right white robot to move forward? Whoa, big robot friend. What are you? I don't know what you are. Okay, so you have to destroy both of the crystals to open the doors. Oh, I have to destroy both of the crystals at the same time to open the door. Hiya. Hiya. Hi-ya? Hi-ya. There it goes. Okay, cool. Uh, do I have enough time to refill my mana points? Before oh, nope. Okay, well, we gotta do that again, then! Perfect. And then we get you through. Okay, so do we need to... Is this what we needed to do? Oh, dude, okay, that's pretty cool. That's really cool, actually. I was, uh... I was not expecting puzzles like this. Car off the big fan, let the wind car go back? Okay. Hi, wind car. Oh, and then we get you to the top of that. And then we push it back out. Okay, but I didn't have to bomb that one. Game, you're breaking your own rules. What am I supposed to do? What do you want from me? Oh, another another chesty chest. What's up, chest?
Oh, it's the same thing again. I was thinking there would be more. Disappointment. Alright, so... Um, oh, man. That was close. Hold right trigger to draw the bow. Okay, so is this just like a little bit of a safety net? Or is there actually something down there? Looks like just a safety net. Right trigger to draw... Whoa! Okay. So, what? Do I shoot up... Okay. Uh, fuck, this feels weird, man. Yeah, it's really hard to move. Okay, so how does the bow help us, then? Use the bow shot on the sword or the ground? Oh, okay. That's really loud in comparison to everything else. Okay, and over, and over. Big right robot can help you pull the crate. So, where is he supposed to go next, then? Because that's not something he can jump onto right there. Yeah, dude, what's up? Where am I supposed to get you to now? Uh, use bow shot on the sword of ground. Yeah. But, where? Do I need to, like, do this? That didn't do anything. Okay, so that was the way they were introducing the mechanic, but they introduced two at once, which is why it was a little strange to me. Uh, whoa, what do you hear? Swords can be stuck in walls. Yes, I know. But how do, do I need to get on here, maybe? This looks like it's going to fall. We good? Okay, we're good. Um... Yeah, so I'm thinking we need to come up here and stick a sword in the ground and then blow it up. But if I can get up here, why wouldn't I just detonate a sword? Yeah, so X. Jeez, your arm is huge, man. That's pretty cool. I like you, big white robot. Okay, so where are we going next? Over here, maybe? Yes. And... Boo! Yeah! a boy! Whoa! Go! No! No! Okay, well, uh, I'm just gonna go right here, then. <laughs> Hiya! Oh! 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 Okay, we made it! Perfect. Uh... Hey, Broski, you wanna you wanna help me out down here? Right here. Boop. Yeah, there's my buddy. You're such a good man. What did I do to deserve such a good man in my life? Alright, you know, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this here. And I'm gonna put this here. And I am going to put one more right here. He knows what I'm doing. Oosh. It's just, it's so much easier than anything else. All right, refill. Oh, I see what I need to do. All right, so... Let's put one here. I said one here. And we'll do one here. 
And we'll do one here. One here. I said one here. And one. Ah, shit. Okay. Beautiful. And then as a detonator, I'll put one here. Yeah, man! Okay. I was wondering how they were gonna do puzzles with the mechanics that they had established, but these are, these are pretty cool. Seems like the solutions are relatively similar each time, and it would really suck if you ran out of mana, but at the same time, they work pretty well. Yo, broski! You gonna... Mm... Okay, I can't aim down very well. Like, I don't know. There's something funky about these controls. So, how do that one, then? Another one? Oh god, did we lose our arm in a fireworks accident? Uh-oh. I don't know if that's something I want to relive. Uh, yep, there we go. Up and away. So... Yeah, what, what are we doing here? Because it looks like we need to hit this. Like, to get that activated somehow? But, unless, like, the lower parts can be destroyed, then I'm not sure what do. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to be doing, so I just put down a shit ton of swords to blow up everything I thought possible, and we're gonna see what happens. And if this doesn't work, then I think we're gonna have to call this episode here, because I really don't know what to do. Nothing, man? Nothing? Really? I'd really love it if you had something for me. Well, uh, I will say, I like a lot of the ideas that are going on here. The, the puzzle mechanics seem pretty solid, and for the most part, uh, until now, they've seemed pretty self-explanatory, and because of that, even though most of them had prompts on what you're supposed to be doing, they felt good to solve, but now that we're to this one, I don't know if we've been taught everything that we need to know to solve this one. I get that we have the the pulley block that he can help us with. This is the thing that he can sit on, but we have to detonate a sword next to it for us to actually be able to get him on there. And... Unless there's a way that we can, like, set down an arrow to be detonated later, then I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. And that's kind of frustrating. Uh, in terms of game design, I really like the level layout. This low-poly, almost cell-shaded look. I'm not sur sure if this is cell-shading. Uh, I'm not good on that kind of stuff. I don't really know what it means. It just kind of looks like it. The art style is really pretty. The level design seems a little haphazard and disconnected, and for that, I think it kind of lacks any realistic impact, which is fine. We're dealing with giant robots and exploding swords made of light. Um, but the sound design with how minimal it is makes everything feel really, really empty, and not in like a cool kind of vast kind of way, just in kind of a dead kind of way. Like with absolutely no music, and there isn't a ton of ambient sound, uh, it could definitely use a little bit more. The mechanics seem cool, but frankly, the controls feel awful. They do. Uh, I, I see what they're going for most of the time, but like, looking up 
and then looking down, like it it seems like there's way too much drag there. Like, the aim doesn't feel good. The delay and animations on what's going on don't feel that great. And maybe it's because I'm recording that it feels that way. But everything feels like there's a significant delay in the input and the animations are are kind of choppy. So like I had to hit Y twice there in order to get it out. Yeah, they, they just don't feel great. And it's it's hard to convey in a video, but uh, I don't know if if the game's control was really fluid, then I think it would feel uh, a hell of a lot better overall. Stick this in the wall or something? No. Okay. Worth a try. But yeah, this has been incredible Mandy. I, I'm really curious to see where else this goes, and I'm kind of disappointed that I couldn't make it any further into the game because of whatever the hell this is supposed to be. But uh, maybe the game could work a little bit more on communi communicating its puzzles well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.